impulse in daily life. From Newton's second law, we know that rate of change of momentum is also equal to force. On rearranging, we get force times time or change in momentum is a quantity called as impulse. The daily example here, when the golf ball is hit by the player, it receives a sudden change in momentum. This leads to a short reaction time and development of large impulsive force. Look at the example here. When the ball is hit by the bat, the final momentum is along the negative direction, while the initial momentum is along the positive direction. So change in momentum is minus 2 mb and not 0. For a graph of force versus time, the area under the graph gives you impulse. Impulsive force in such a case acts for a very small duration of time but has a very large value of magnitude. The value of impulsive force changes quickly which makes the magnitude calculation difficult. Hence, area under the graph is taken with respect to average force into concentration. There are many ways in which an understanding of impulse can save lives. The dashboard padding in a car, the certainly the airbags, allow the net force on the occupant in a car to act for a much longer time when there is a sudden stop. The momentum change is the same for the occupant, whether an airbag is deployed or not, but the force, which will be much less it is acted over for a longer span of time. Selecting a car with seat belt, airbags, and crumple zones is highly recommended for overall passenger safety during collisions.